now live from the studios at 30 Rock in New York, Ed Schultz. It's one of those things you just never know who you're going to run into in the hallway. And then I just say, you know, would you come in and talk to our audience just for a few moments? And Brian Williams, the anchor of the NBC Nightly News, says, Ed, I'll do it for a few minutes. Brian, great to see you. Welcome to the Ed Schultz Show. Let's be transparent. Uh, am I on here? And I, there you are. Okay. Turn it up. Turn it up. Do there I have go. to hold it on? No, you don't have to hold it. Oh, man. Well, maybe. It's it's, how about this one? Green. It's not going green? Will you explain to the folks what's going on? We have bad microphones. I think. Think about how this. How about if I hold it in? Can you hear me now? No, what I can't hear you now. Oh, my goodness. Son of a gun. You can't hear me. Can you hear me over there, honey? Honey? Uh oh. See, now we're a mom and pop operation. You have to understand we're a mom and pop operation. Uh, I do. And I am holding we, down. We, we, we hold down. Oh, we, you know what? There the it cough, is. The cough light was on. Oh, is that what it was? The last person to sit here had been coughing. Now, now this, this is terrible for my radio show. I have I, the biggest star in uh, news in America, and we couldn't figure out where the cough button was. Uh, now, now, let's start over. <laughs> so, moments ago. Uh, and and thank you for having me, Ed. Uh, good day, uh, America. Um, moments ago, I am minding my own business, walking with, and I, I've never done this before. I just completed an interview with the Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer, sure. who is right now going uh, down in the elevator to his next uh, whatever Stephen Breyer does. And I was coming out of the studio. Uh, we were. I was saying my goodbyes. I shook the hand of the justice. I turned. I saw a white flash in the corner of my eyes, bright, um, distracting, and I turned, and it was Ed's legs. <laughs> Ed's wearing uh, shorts, athletic shorts with sneakers, dangerously close to a <laughs> Supreme Court uh, <laughs> justice. Uh, now, I, I was distracted, I said my goodbyes, and Ed uh, comes after me in the hallway and says, <laughs> would you ever do my radio show? In that, in that it, Ernest Decoton style, <laughs> on which he's made a handsome career. And I said, why, Ed? Uh, a- a- answering sincerely, Ed, of course I would. Uh, longtime fan, uh, first-time caller. And uh, <laughs> he said, how about now? And I looked at my watch. Our editorial meeting is coming up in 20 short minutes. I was in the afterglow of having conducted an interview, which I thought was boisterous, uh, Justice Breyer, I said to him, uh, were you happy with that? He said it was a spiritual interview. And and I, I'm fascinated to figure out where he gets that. We never, of course, uh, <laughs> uh, dealt with anything spiritual, but he found spiritual in journalism. And I've taken up too much of your time already with this with this monologue. No, but not Thank at you all. very much for having me. Oh, well, it's great, great to have you with us. Now, you have an editorial meeting every day that... Uh, two of them. At okay. 9.30 in the morning, we okay. gather to at least send the troops out. When you've got somebody like Richard Engel in Afghanistan, he needs marching orders because it involves security and usually the armed forces. And, you know, Andrea Mitchell in Washington and Miguel Almaguer uh, investigating the gas leak and all our moving parts. Like a newspaper, we send more people out to do stories than we will buy their stories at night. They make what's called an offer, and we can't get everybody on, but that's when we have what we call the steel cage death match, when all the reporters have to compete, have to put their work up and compete for airtime. And we hope that at the end of the night, the 30 minutes we put on is the best 30-minute recitation of the day's news we can. It's, it really is pretty fascinating. I mean, the decisions that you make of what goes, what hits the edit room floor, so to speak, and you hope at the end of the show, you know, I, I think I, I hope we did the right thing for America tonight. Boy, that's what I try to do. I mean, I was in I was in the food store Saturday, two of them actually, because the first food store didn't have something I needed. <laughs> and man, I talk to people like a politician would, because I really regard them as a constituency. They're that. They are customers. I know I I know we have a lot of critics. I I can't bend the news to make people happy with us, but I want them to be happy at least in our honesty and our presentation and knowing we come at it honestly. And uh, I talk to a ton of people and I read and I try to live an American life. I just had this conversation with Justice Breyer and I said to him, would it kill the court to have a couple justices on it from state law schools? 
Would it be a bad thing if we had more people that we could perhaps identify with instead of double Ivy League uh, degrees? Here's Stephen Breyer, no fault of his own, Stanford undergrad, Harvard Law, Harvard professor, Marshall Scholar. This is a brainiac. Now, luckily, married forever, father of three, grandfather, bicycle rider, car owner, pumps gas, buys groceries. I want somebody who has stood in the express line. He just talked about how angry he gets when someone in front of him has 15 groceries in the <laughs> 10 or under line, and I said there ought to be a law, and he agreed. So I think that's the news we're breaking. <laughs> Brian, thank you for stopping by. Uh, in this business, when we say five minutes, that's exactly what we mean, and I don't want to take any more of your you time. Are You're a nice busy man. man. Thank you for having and me. And I, I thank you so kind to come in here and spend a couple of minutes now. I don't know who who your favorite football team is, but I've been trying. New York Giants. Okay, Giants. We had okay. a good weekend. Yeah, we had a good weekend. I, I'm a Redskin fan. Oh boy. But anyway, good to see you. Nova. Look at the time. Oh, yeah, look right. at the time. Good that's to see right. you. <laughs> what Redskins? Really? Well, I think I I don't think that was holding. I think the Cowboys won last night. I, I know I, that that's heresy as a Skins fan, but I'm just saying I. I, I don't I I don't think they should have thrown the flag. All I know is my boys in blue were dumb. They did yesterday. Brian Williams, the nightly news on NBC. Great to have you with us. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much.